Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be working with metric beat and installing it on my Elasticsearch node so I can uh, monitor that node. So with monitoring you can track what's happening in your Elastic stack. I'm going to be installing metric beat on my stack uh, which is made up of one node currently but it, it does the job. I can go in Kibana to the stack monitoring UI user interface and looking at uh, the metrics of my Elasticsearch nodes, see how many nodes I have, what's the, how much disk is available, how many indices, what's the version of my cluster, and I can also monitor Kibana. And most importantly, you can see the health of your cluster. Is it green is it yellow is it red you can see more information when you click on the overview on nodes uh, so i'm going to go to my kibana under management and stack monitoring user interface right here and currently it says no monitoring data found have you set up monitoring yet if so make sure that the selected time so this is important uh, the time filter if not, it says set up monitoring with metric beat or set up with self monitoring. You can click set up with self monitoring and it says this setting here, XPAC monitoring collection enable, enabled is set to false. Would you like to turn it on? I can say turn it on. And we can look at some monitoring uh, data. But the recommended approach, of course, is setting up metric beat which which uh, is what we're going to do but let's look really quick at what we can see with this self monitoring and ask you here uh, it asks you to create rules and to see like if you want to be alerted on anything just gonna say okay so i can see my cluster is made up of one node uh, the health is yellow right now because I only have one node and uh, the data is not being replicated between nodes. You can see the version, uptime, license, uh, disk available, indices, logs here. We can also set up file beat on the Elasticsearch nodes so I can see the logs of that node uh, here in Kibana UI as well. And also I can see the Kibana instance here, how many connections, uh, the response time and all that. But if we click here on the enter setup mode, you can see it is uh, being monitored with self monitoring just with that command. If we click on it, it will say it's recommended, recommended to uh, monitor with metric feet, which I'm going to click on. And it will give you these um, these steps here that you can go ahead and fill them up just to help you with the settings. So the monitoring cluster, of course, in a production environment, it is recommended to have a monitoring cluster, which is a separate cluster uh, than the production cluster. In this case, you can see the metrics and logs on a monitoring cluster even if the production cluster is unavailable so i'm just gonna go here https because i have it secured and it says install metric beat on the same server as elasticsearch and right here i have elasticsearch um, node just gonna open the instructions really quick. Metric beat, quick start installation. I'm gonna go to self-managed, RPM, and I'm gonna do actually the yum repository. I'm gonna import this key. I have to put them side by side. Then I'm going to create this file here. 
I'm going to call it metric beat.repo. Copy paste this information here. And all I have to do is yum install metric beat. Okay, let's see what version of metric beats is gonna grab. Um, eight three zero, which is not recommended because my stack, my stack, or my cluster is still on eight two three. So I'm just gonna say no. I'm gonna go back here and pick this command right here. So curl and it downloads this file. So ls downloaded this file at all and it's eight two three. It's the same version as the one uh, as my cluster. Let's see, say sudo rpm pi. So this is a quick installation here. Then after that, step two, connect to the stack. So self-managed, I'm gonna go to the metric beat YAML file. So metric beat, metric beat dot YAML. And here I'm gonna go down to the output section. I have Kibana output here, or the Kibana setup. I'm going to put the Kibana IP here. So mine is 192.168.25.120. And I'm going to go to the outputs. And under the output.elasticsearch, I'm going to put the IP of my Elasticsearch host with HTTPS. Even though HTTPS we can specify it here, but I think I'm just gonna put it to 100. Protocol HTTPS, username, elastic, password. My password is not very sophisticated, but that is all right. And I'm gonna put some SSL settings. Okay, I'm gonna do this quick. I'm gonna use the CA trusted fingerprint. Uh, of course, this closes like this. And I'm gonna go to this document here. And it tells me how to get that CA fingerprint. I'm gonna run this command. And I'm going to specify the directory where the CA is, elastic search, search. And this is the fingerprint. Just going to format it a different way. Case converter to lowercase and then notepad. I'm going to replace a colon with nothing so that I can go back to the metric beat YAML. And insert that fingerprint right here. Okay, I'm going to save this file. Close this, go back here. So we finished with the connecting to the Elastic Stack. Kibana, we put the IP address of Kibana. Step three, enable and configure metrics collection modules. With Metric Beat, we have modules. 
uh, that will help with uh, parsing and monitoring so to check out those module metric beat modules list and we are going to enable abcd elasticsearch dash x back because we're monitoring the elasticsearch node okay and we have to run this command metric beat modules enable metric beat modules enable i copy pasted enterprise search by mistake Met metric beat modules enable elastic search x pack and i'm going to disable the other one enterprise search okay now i should have elastic search and system module system module will, will monitor the system itself uh this is enabled by default we can disable it but i'm just going to keep it so i'm going to go to the nano c metric beep modules elastic search dash expect so right here this is where we set the module itself okay so we need the username password we're gonna authenticate with elastic password and this is the hosts is the ip or the host that we are sending from so we're sending from metric beat to Elasticsearch. a metric beat since it is installed on the same host as Elasticsearch, we can just keep this uh, and i'm just gonna say https if i go so I'm here under the Elasticsearch guide. I can go to monitor the cluster and collecting monitoring data with metric beat. So I'm inside the Elasticsearch uh, documentation. I'm going to the section where it says collecting Elasticsearch monitoring data with metric beat. It gives you more details here and it gives you the settings what you should enable and not enable so we have the xpack enable true period hosts uh, scope username password ssl enabled so i'm going to copy and paste this stuff right here ssl certificate authority okay and i'm going to uncomment this and uncomment this and I'm going to be using the CA cert metric, oh, metric beat, not metric search, metric beat, HTTP underscore CA CRT, the self signed cert. And I'm going to move it to this location under Etsy metric beat. Um, copy it actually, copy it from the elastic search certs http ca cert to under metric beat okay so we we set up the module itself or it says monitor from this host and we set up metric beat yaml where it tells us where to send uh, the data and then i'm gonna say service metric beat start uh, we can look at system control status metric beat all right uh, it's all info info here info info don't see any errors i'm just pressing q to quit and then running it again because it doesn't uh, like stream automatically so so far i don't have any errors so it should be good i'm going 
to go back to the Kibana UI. And it says here, congratulations, metric beat is shipping monitoring data. I can say done. And I can say exit setup mode. And go back here to clusters. I can see it is being monitored like before, but now if I go here, disable self monitoring. Okay. And now we are monitoring with metric beat. Monitor with metric beat, which is the recommended uh, approach. Okay, so we can look at lots of things here. Search rate, search latency. First of all here, uh, the status is yellow because we are missing other nodes. I only have one node in my cluster. So the indexes are not being replicated. So it'll be yellow, but that's fine for now. I have one node, 17 indices, the JVM heap, total shards, unassigned shards because I don't have other nodes, total documents, uh, indexing rate, indexing latency, uh, log entries. You can install file beat on the Elasticsearch node and it will give you the logs, basically whatever is in uh, var, var log, Elasticsearch. So like file beat will look at the files in, in here. And you can, you can set up where is the location of those files. This is for another video. And the shard activity, if, if you have Sharding going on, shards are moving from one node to another. You can see them here. And the nodes, you can look at the node itself. CPU usage, load average, JVM heap and disk, free space, indices. You can look at the uh, indices if, if there are. Oh yeah, where are my other one? Oh, maybe I stopped actually. The ones I only have data streams and system indices. Okay. And I was going to show you one more thing. I'm going to click on the node itself. And I can see more info here. So it is online, zero alerts. You can look at the JVM heap. This is a graph here, input output operation rate. Um, how many documents, the data, indices, shards, what's the type of the node, it's a master node, system load, and this is only the last 15 minutes. You can look at today, for example. Oh, today, because I just started monitoring. I don't have much data. Uh, latency, segment count. You, you can look here at the primary shards on this node. They're all system indices, so I don't have anything else. I can go to advanced and see more data here. Garbage collection rate, the garbage collection duration, CPU, index memory. Lots of data. Lots of data and metrics to look at. If you made it to this point, thank you for watching and I hope this was helpful for you. I'm planning on continuing covering more topics of the Elastic Stack. Um, for example, I want to uh, set up file beat on the Elasticsearch node so I can have the logs streaming in this corner here and also set up metric beat on the Kibana instance so I can monitor Kibana. And I'm planning on expanding my cluster to have a three node cluster and show you how to set up a, uh, a cluster. If you have any ideas what I can cover, uh, let me know and I will work on them in my lab here and do another video tutorial. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.